back. So today we're talking about finding happiness. And for all of us, happiness can mean, of course, we know many different things. You would think happiness for my next guest includes the Grammy she won in 2014 for her gospel single, Break Every Chain, or the fact that she's been dubbed the gospel artist of the decade. Wow. Tasha Cobbs Leonard has chart-topping albums like One Place Live, Heart Passion Pursuit, and Royalty. And now she's releasing a new, highly anticipated album. It's called Hymns. Please welcome gospel singer and preacher and gospel great, Tasha Cobbs Leonard. <laughs> Thank you, thank you for coming. Wow. Okay, listen, you have so much to be happy for Ooh. and happy about. Yeah. You're a mom now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you and your husband Kenneth adopted Asher. Asher. Last year. Yes, he's 15 a... months old. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I don't know how you're holding up those little thighs. I Look at know, that. isn't it? He's so juicy. juicy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, um, my goodness. My baby boy. Your baby boy. Yeah. I remember reading an interview where you were talking to People Magazine about yeah. your IVF journey. Mm -hmm. And it has been a long and grueling process. And yeah. You said, after all the disappointment, and it was many times that we tried and we were disappointed, but you have something internally that's saying, I believe that this is what is meant for me. Yes. Yeah. And this is what you were waiting for. Yeah. This is what you were praying for. Yes, absolutely. I think there are times when we, as you know, people who are of influence and people are watching you, we don't just have the responsibility to inspire when you're on the mountain. Yeah. You know, we, we walk out our lives in front of the masses, even when we're in the valley. And I think that speaks volumes. Mm -hmm. You know, when you don't lose your faith and you keep preaching and teaching from a transparent place. Mm -hmm. um, and that's what my husband and I did. You know, we walked this thing out and there were disappointing days, but- On the disappointing days, mm -hmm. how did you cope? You know, each other. Mm -hmm. having family, people who surround you with love, yeah. to keep pushing and telling you this is what God said, yeah. and this is gonna happen in your life, and I don't care what it looks like right now, God's gonna do exactly what he said he's gonna do. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. You know, from the desire to be a mom to also being open about your depression, yeah. which, I mean, you are such a transparent person, and yeah. I love that about you, because it is, to your point, easy for people to say, wait a minute, the Grammys, the accolades, yes. the Dove Awards, this, that, and the other, mm -hmm. and you say, wait, this is a part of the journey, and this yes. is what faith is, because if you aren't challenged, you can't have faith. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And so you talked about there were days you couldn't get out of bed. Mm -hmm. Wow, in a dark room, I remember I would minister to the masses and I would watch people set free and healed, you know, and I would go home for days in the dark, under the covers, you know, just toiling with, with, with voices saying, hey, if you were to die today, they would find another Tasha. Mm -hmm. But I, I found through therapy, listen, I believe in therapy. Where do you think therapy. that was coming from? So yes. do I. But where did you believe, because as you said, you were there ministering to the masses with mm -hmm. your voice, with your words. You go home, you're hiding, feeling like you're not good yeah. enough or you're replaceable and mm -hmm. you don't matter. What Was that from childhood? What rejection. Was, really? Self-rejection too. Because so for so many years, I had to put on this mask of perfection. You know, I was a pastor's daughter. Yeah. You put on this mask of perfection. You gotta have the, the best grades. You gotta look the best. You gotta present yourself well. And then you look down the road many, many years and you're thinking, my God, I don't even, I don't even know myself. Yeah. Who am I? You know, I'm not, I'm not a singer. I'm not just a singer. I'm not just a preacher. There is more to me. Ah. You know, and so you go on that journey of discovery. You go on that to find yourself, yeah. So when you said, I'm not just a singer, I'm, I'm not just a minister, a preacher, how do you define yourself now? Oh my goodness, I have so many <laughs> <laughs> that I love, you know? Yeah. Yes. I mean, I, 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 I'm settled in who I am. You find your purpose. Yeah. I know that my purpose is to represent God in every arena, yeah. on every platform, yeah. to bring light and hope into people's lives. 
And when you know your purpose, you can be settled. You can be sure. You can be happy. Yeah. You find joy. You know, you're not moved by the world of social media. They're saying, you got to have this, got to right. have that, got to do this, got to right. look this way. You know, I'm settled with who I am. This is settled. Tasha. You might get blonde hair today. Yes. <laughs> Black hair tomorrow. I like it. I know that firsthand. <laughs> well, one of the titles, in addition to Mom of Asher, mm -hmm. is your wife I'm and your wife. husband works with you. He's here. Kenneth, come on Woo! over here. That's my baby. Oh. Kenneth, thank you. Kenneth is an acclaimed music director and producer. I mean, this is dynamic duo yes. right here. <laughs> um, you produced Tasha's last three albums. How does it feel to see her in this place of happiness? It's so incredible to see that. I think that's one of the things that we all kind of strive for, a place of happiness and, and more importantly, a place of fulfillment. Mm. I think as my, my role as producer husband, hus, hus producer <laughs> is- And now pastor. <laughs> all right. <laughs> right. <laughs> is, to, is, to, is to cover my wife in a way that she lives fulfilled oh. and to be able to help on in her career as well as her ministry and her life. To see that fulfillment is just incredible. Now, what about that. daddy duties? Who's Shane? Who's, <laughs> you know, I Asher is a daddy's all... boy. Yeah. Is he? Oh, oh, yeah. He clings to Kenny everywhere he goes. Oh. Like, I, I come home, y'all, and he's like, hey, mom, where's the guy? Where's, the, <laughs> where's that guy that's with you all the time? <laughs> I cannot stop looking at these thighs. Oh, no. I don't know how you. It's touring and all of that. Is he around? And he you, yeah. you want him a part yeah. of the journey? Yeah. yeah. He and all. We actually have three older children too. Yeah. So we have a 20-year-old, yeah. a 16-year-old, and a, an 11-year-old who is like a ball of energy. And so <laughs> we try as much as possible to keep them involved yeah. in what we're doing. We don't want them to feel like, oh, this is your life over here. Yeah. And then no, we're all. It's all Listen, that one. age gap to 20 to, uh, to one, one to is, one. I don't know how you have time to make music, but thank God you are making music. <laughs>